Greetings, retro friends. This is a Remex punch tape uh, punch machine. It punches tape, computer tape. Not magnetic tape, but paper-like tape. And back in the day, this was used in addition to, or maybe um, complementary to, punch cards. So the idea is that you would take some tape. Let me open some of this tape for you. See, I have um, original boxes. You can just buy these on eBay. And this is one inch tape. So if I open this, we can see what's inside. Here, let me put this down. This is computer tape. It looks magnetic, but it isn't. It's, I guess, reinforced. So this is the first time this tape has been opened since it was manufactured. And uh, oh. it's uh, not kind of paper. It feels a little plasticky. It's a little sticky. I'm not sure why. But anyway, so you would punch holes in here, and there would be eight holes per, um, per step. So you could store one byte all the way around. And this is a thousand feet of computer tape. Um, I also have these reels, which I got with this and with a reader that I'm also going to work on. Um, but, of course, in order to read a tape, I need to have a tape, and to have a tape, I need to punch a tape, and that's what this machine is for. So, apparently, uh, if you look over here, this, this is a rack mount unit, so it doesn't have any cover or anything. Um, you can see there's this big reel, which I guess is the supply reel. Uh, Oh yeah, wow, this actually fits pretty well. So this is the right tape. I guess it was a standard spool size. Um, and then there are a couple of things which I'm not sure about. You can see that this appears to be bent and there's like a little notch taken out of there. I'm not sure if this was uh, damaged. Uh, this is straight. This is also bent. It's on some sort of a lever, and it also has a little piece taken off of it. Those pieces I can probably just, you know, print new ones if I need to. Um, this rotates. This does not. Well, it, it actually does, but it's extremely tight. Um, there's also this piece over here, which, um, if I can move the light a little bit, See this, seems kind of loose. And then there's the screw down here, and there's a micro switch over here. And if I rotate this, the screw hits that little switch. But you know, with this being so wobbly, I don't think it was supposed to be wobbly. So, and it seems to have a little clip that you can put that in there. So I guess this is, you know, maybe to hold the tape. There's a little diagram over here. So I guess the, the tape would go this way, and then it would go around here, around here, where presumably this lever uh, measures the tension on the tape. So it probably goes to a potentiometer, uh, which adjusts the speed of feeding the tape. And then it goes around here, and then it goes up to this, this part. And this part is where the tape comes in, and it goes here somewhere. And uh, there must be a printing head here, which punches the holes. And this is where the uh, holes go to die. So we can actually... Can this be lifted out? Yes. Oh, and we can see that there are some holes in there. Ancient holes. So anyway, uh, if we look at the back, 
we can see that there is the plug, there is the fuse, and we have a lot of adjustment potentiometers. Uh, are those? No, it says F. Those appear to be fuses. I've never seen fuses like this. They're very small. And, uh, and then there's this. This, is, this must be the serial interface. Unfortunately, again, this was banged around, so it's likely that uh, the joints here are all damaged and maybe the traces also, so I might have to take this card out and see. So I don't really want to power this up yet. Um, well, uh, okay, you've talked me into it. Let's take a look at the front panel. We've got an on-off switch. We have a spool. We have feed and delete. Delete? How can you delete a hole? and perf status. I guess that's perforation. So I'm going to plug this in in the back over here and nothing should happen. Great, nothing happened. And now I'll turn it on and see what happens. Oh, wow, well, I have a light and there's a fan. Nothing's moving though. What happens if I press spool? Great, I have a light switch. Nothing happens. Feed? Nothing. Delete? Nothing. Uh, how about this? Oh, wow. Oh yeah. Well, that's interesting. So this is fed by, or is rotated by, this rubber bushing, which has a flat spot on one end because it's been sitting there for years and years and years and years. But it still rotates. And whatever circuit this is, is still detecting tension. So I guess that's good. Um, anyway, I'm going to turn this off and see if I can find the manual to it. Uh, and then we'll uh, take a look at those cards and see what we can see. Okay. See you next time.